Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul in NorCal, 517, 2014. I'm going to redo this video. I had unplugged. <laughs> I, comp <laughs> I completely unplugged my camera and microphone yesterday. Internet's crazy. <laughs> so I made a video uh, with my uh, mic unplugged, you know, my primary mic, not the built-in one. It doesn't work that good. So I'm going to redo this video. This is Vincent Jr., my grandson, and this is Annalise and little Vince, we call them. So uh, this is pictures of uh, my granddaughter and grandson, and that makes me a grandfather and my father a uh, great-grandfather, and we are blessed and highly favored, and we want to give God glory today. This is my nephew. Remember the wedding uh, I went and did uh, up in Grass Valley? For my nephew Joshua, well, look, look, God bless him with the little baby Joshua and Natalie. They just woke up this morning. They're coming down here today. We're going to see little Juniper, Junebug. That is my grandniece Juniper and my nephew Joshua. Praise the Lord. I, their mom, mother and father would be very proud, but they're in heaven waiting for us. Um, so now let's get to the scripture. Look, what, let me find, what did I say when I woke up this morning? I got to find it. Um... I, when I just woke up, I, I got up early for like 7, 7 a.m. for one, and I just felt inspired, and I put on my Facebook, look, I'll share it with you, and I hope you get inspired also, because God, look, God has designed you with a purpose, and Satan wants to defeat that purpose. God has a plan for you. Satan wants to get you off that plan. Jesus Christ came that you could have life and life more abundantly, and Satan wants you sad and depressed and in lack. Well, take a stand today for what is right in the light and that's Jesus Christ and his promises in his word so it says I woke up today with such a strong sense of purpose God will use me to bring light and love and peace and joy into someone else's life Jesus told his disciples quote come with me and I will make you fishers of men unquote is that not what he said well that's what I'm gonna do I got lots of bait out and I'm fishing and like Rocco said look you catch the fish and Jesus will clean them brother and I'm like, I like that so that's Juniper and that's little Vince and Annalise. My son's birthday is the 23rd. Um, let's go to the Word of God. Anybody want some Word of God today? Man shall not live by bread alone. Put the bread down. Here we go. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Okay, so we're talking about the light. Light of the world, you came down into heaven. And I'm going to put a link to that song, Here I Am to, wor here to Worship. Talks about the light of the world. And my salvation, so whom shall I fear? So when you woke up today, you woke up with the light upon you and the free gift of salvation. And so there's nothing to fear. You know what I mean? No, you know what David was going through when he wrote this? Much more than, than I'm going through. Amen. And he also said the Lord is his strength. Of whom shall I be afraid? Man, he talks about wicked enemies and foes come up to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. How many people know that the devil wants you focused on all these enemies when, when Jesus is already saying, look, they're, they're going to stumble and fall. This weapon formed against you, they could form weapons all day. But because you're mine, because I bought you at a great price, then the wicked's plans will always be void against you, son, daughter. That's what his word says. Though a host should encamp against me. In other words, they could surround you. Helicopters, ghetto birds tanks it wouldn't matter my heart shall not fear you should be sitting there in perfect peace the war should rise against me anybody hear any wars or rumors of wars matthew 24 luke 21 uh, in this i will be confident so today at 9 26 a.m on uh, may 17 2014 i don't know what tomorrow holds i don't know what tonight holds but jesus has already been there and he told me what it holds for me he, in, in where can I find my destination? In his word. Where can I find my purpose? In his word. Where can I find his will? In his word. What are you saying, Paul? Get in his word today. Get in prayer today. Get in fellowship with others that believe in the same thing today. And stop focusing on this world. It could start shaking and baking right now. Explosions and everything. The worst that could happen was I'd be with Jesus and my family again. Amen. With you all too. Uh, so that's what I want to be confident about. Verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after. Notice that 
He's the he's authoring right now under the unction of the Holy Spirit that will stand the test of eternity. This word right here, that that, that not only that he desires something of the Lord, but he's going to seek after it. Like as in the Bible says, seek peace and pursue it. Can somebody put that scripture in there for me for time's sake? See, Proverbs, seek peace and pursue it. So how many people want peace in their life? But are you are you pursuing things of peace, not things of the world like the world gives? but the peace of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Well, okay, so he's saying he desires something and he's seeking after, and here's his desire, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and he's talking about down here on earth too, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Go take a look at, around, instead of seeing the ugliness that the world is presenting, see God's beauty t today. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle, the talking Psalms 91 here, shall he hide me and he shall set me upon a rock and say, I claim that today for my life and my loved one's life in the name of Jesus. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Take a look around. You feel that? Therefore, will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy? I will sing. I'm going to put a here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. I'm going to put a link to that song in this video description, which you have to hit more to see and play. I will uh, sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. How many people have that prayer today? When thou sayest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. And it always be your help, saints. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother and father forsook me, then the Lord will take me up. Look, he, we're about ready to go up, saints. Ooh, that just hit me. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me into the plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are rising up against me. And, and, and everybody say amen loudly. I, I think it. Now, here's my favorite part. We're going to close out strong for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That soldiers of the cross come to be the light of the world. Get out. Get the bushel off your head. Go out and be the light and make a change in someone else's. The change I want to see can begin in me today through Jesus Christ because I can do all things through him who's given me strength. There's one thing that I desire of the Lord is to dwell in peace and safety and love. And he will supply all my needs according to his riches and his glory. In Christ alone, I put my trust. Trust. Wait on the Lord. It says, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. How many people about to faint? And they said, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, devil. It ain't fainting time. It's celebration time. Because I waited on the Lord with good courage and he strengthened me. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord. And y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. I speak peace, love, life, unity, one accord, blessings, miracles, signs, and wonders over everybody who hears this word. I speak salvation into your family, restoration of your marriages, and the blessings of God. Bless and curse not, saith the Lord. Bless and curse not, his word says. Amen. Scriptures for that, anybody?